Actually, there's one remaining mystery that we've finally solved. The biggest question of them all, who is the Batman? And we finally figured out the answer. <laughs> Batman is the warmest, kindest, most big-hearted soul we've ever met. A great big teddy bat. Then I hope you'll keep that to yourselves. The criminal underworld would have a field day if they knew. Your secret's safe with us. Batman is not about being scary, dark, making criminals afraid to go out at night. Well, yes, for criminals, he is about that. But for us, regular people, he is something more. Why did he decide to never kill anybody? Not just criminals, but supervillains as well. The same supervillains that escape Arkham every time and cause more trouble. It seems like killing one supervillain would stop bigger evil, worse people would die because of them. But he never does that. Not just because killing is bad, not only because his parents were killed, but there's something more than that. And the answer is, he wants them to be better. He believes in redemption. He believes that the worst of them, even Joker, one day can become better. Just like Ted Lasso made Jamie Tart a better man, Batman hopes that Gotham's finest one day will start a normal life. If we look at my favorite interpretation of Batman by Kevin Connery, and by the way, I like to think of the animated series Bats and Arkham Bats as the same Batman. But that's a story for another video. Let's get back to the point. Kevin Connery's Batman from the animated series. What was the trait he had that we never saw in any live-action Batman movie? Not in Christopher Nolan movies, not by Zack Snyder, not by Matt Reeves. Well, this Batman used to help the villains. Um, not to execute their evil plans, but he helped them to become better people. Season 3, Episode 6, Harley's Holiday. Due to her good behavior, Harley Quinn received a clean bill of mental health and was granted parole. And it made Batman genuinely happy. Well, at least I believe this is the way he expresses happiness. I hear you're getting out tomorrow. You got a problem with that? <gasps> Congratulations. Yeah, so I made a few mistakes. I've got my head back together and I'm gonna live my life right. For your sake, I hope so. Show you. Start it tomorrow, you'll see I'm just as sane as anybody. And even though she accidentally messed up, Batman had to return Harley back to the asylum. He was still hoping for the better future for Harleen Quinzel. One thing I gotta know. Had you stay with me all day, risking your butt for someone who's never given you anything but trouble. I know what it's like to try and rebuild a life. I had a bad day too, once. Nice guys like you shouldn't have bad days. Season 3, Episode 2. One more scene I wanna show you. You're more in control now. Able to make decisions for yourself without relying on chance. Now it's time for the final step. Erasing the scars that created Two-Face. I believe that once you are whole again, your mind will be strong enough to banish Two-Face permanently. Bruce Wayne picked up the tab for this? Yes. Good old Bruce, he's never given up on me. Always been my best friend. I remember when we used to close the town at the Half Moon Club. Most fun we ever had. So, now you understand. No matter how bad they get, this Batman never gives up on his enemies. In fact, they are not even his enemies. With this mindset, he has no enemies. He just tries to help these broken people. And I believe that this is what true Batman should be. And you know what? I see that Robert Pattinson's Batman is moving in that direction. Towards the end of his first movie, he realized that Batman should be a symbol of hope. And now, I hope that in future movies, he will show us and his enemies importance of second chances, compassion and forgiveness. Indicator of man's true strengths. Ability to forgive and move forward. Forgiveness, the opposite of vengeance. What a beautiful story. This is what I believe we will see in the sequel of Batman. And you know what? 
I love that narrative. This is the Batman our generation deserves. If 10 years ago it was cool to be cynical and sarcastic like Rick Sanchez or Tony Stark, now our heroes are the characters of so-called indomitable human spirit, the ones who reached inner peace, ready to guide and navigate others. I love that. And this is the Batman we need. Thank you for watching this video and remember, be a goldfish, be curious, not judgmental. Wait, you can't leave now. It's pizza time.